Okay, so today I was looking through the script image of Bully, and I found a beta version of Stronghold Assault. Now before we start, I'm just going to quickly go through my inventory, you'll see why when we start the mission. Okay, so let's just quickly knock Fad out, and start the mission up. So once the mission loads, you'll realise that we're just put behind the library pretty much with no intro cutscene and no special mis mission music but if you look on the radar you'll see all these red dots and you know these are just the nerds attacking us like they do in the final game but here's a, a few differences at the moment it looks like it does in the final game doesn't it you know bottle rockets being shot at you and all that but here's something that here's something that isn't in the final game well not that but this notice how fad here is carrying a spud gun in the final game the nerds do not use a spud gun I'm gonna guess it was removed because, you know, like, Jimmy, I think Jimmy can take about, is it, three, four, maybe five shots of the spud gun before he dies? And since the spud gun is pretty damn accurate, probably knocked Jimmy out. Now, um, as I said, there's no mission music for it, there's no objective, but, like, since we, since we know this is Stronghold Assault, you know, we just gotta pretty much, well, go the route that we do in the normal game. I've just realised, I don't think Cornelius appears in this mission. Here, anyway, I don't think. Um, yeah, just pointing that out. I can't remember if Cornelius does appear. If he doesn't, then... Well, I mean, if he does, then, you know, correct me. Now, we're going to get into something interesting in a minute. When we get to Ernest. Gonna knock Cornelius out. Make sure there's no one there. And here's the weird thing now. That's Fad on the Spud Gun, not Ernest. And there's no audio files either. It's just completely static. I know the game isn't frozen. Well, now it isn't. Here that well, that is when Ernest would say get in before he damages the transformer. Because Fad isn't on the Spud Gun, or the Spud Cannon, whatever you want to call it, we don't actually, like, have to take cover from them, if you know what I mean. We're just going to knock these nerds out. You'll notice one other change. Algernon and Melvin aren't here. So we're free to just quickly, like, you know, run in and go there. I'm so tempted to actually shoot Fad in the head here, but, like... For mission purposes, I'm just going to shoot the transformer thing. Notice how Fad runs off rather than it being another cutscene. The final change of the mission is when we get to the Spud Cannon. We can't actually get on it, but for some reason we have a health bar pop up underneath our radar. No, that doesn't mean the door is an ally, and since we can't, like, actually shoot it with the spud cannon, it looks like we can't do anything. But we can still damage it with, like, the slingshot, firecrackers, and whatnot. But the nerds still have spud guns, so... So I'm just going to quickly damage this. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. The game seems to be, um... The game seems to be at a complete stop here because, you know, this is where the cut, well, not the cutscene, but this is where Jimmy would get mission complete and all that, you know, minus 100 respect from the nerds. But since, like, this wasn't programmed, we're pretty much at a stop. Like, as you can see on the radar there, we're told to go there, but we can't, you know. <laughs> so, what are we supposed to do here? Nothing, really. That's it. <laughs> Nothing really, that's pretty much the entire beta mission. You know, we still can't get access to the spud cannon. And... So, if we run in, we just pretty much die and the mission abruptly ends. Which I'll show in a minute. That was probably the quickest knockout ever. Well, knockout and respawn anyway. So that's the beta Stronghold Assault, and thank you for watching.